Mark Sim with Vanta TV. Here we have the originator, the founder of Honey Jam. This is Ebony Rowe. She's been through a lot. She's been developing artists for years. And she's ready now to take a new crop of artists into the international stratosphere of musicology. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a word with Ebony right now. Ebony, how did the workshop go? I thought the workshop was awesome. We had to get an overhaul. We both coach. She's worked with John Travolta. She's worked with Tina Turner. And uh, she's awesome. So she flew in from Canada yesterday and she conducted a great vocal performance workshop. Put the girls through their paces, gave them a lot of tips about breathing, about how to stand, about vocal exercises. It's great. Fantastic. Now, this is your third Honey Jam show in Barbados, isn't it? Yes, it is. And how does this one feel? Because obviously, you've been through two, you've gone through some teething pains, you've learned a lot, and the artists have now come to look forward to it more every year for looking for the Honey Jam. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about number three going forward? It's just two weeks away. I'm very excited about it, which has been a huge buzz. We've been doing a lot of promotion. The artists are phenomenal. We've got a great crop of girls. We always have a great crop of girls, but each year they get better and better and better. Awesome. Now I noticed this year, because I was, I was here filming the workshop, mm -hmm. they put a few girls who seem now to bring up originals. Yes. Is that something you're striving for? Absolutely. Absolutely. It makes them more valuable as an artist. They're certainly going to earn a lot more money if they also write the songs. The publishing is really where the money is at. And it shows their creativity, their ingenuity, and they connect better to the song when they wrote it because it's from a personal experience, a deep personal experience that they have, which helps them also to connect with the audience. Excellent. Now I noticed, I think I saw a CD inside. Mm -hmm. Are, have you guys printed the CD? Yes, we did a promotional compilation CD. We also did it last year. And this is so that if I'm in Canada, I can give to an A&R person one CD that has maybe 15 or 15 artists from Barbados. I can give it to radio stations here. And it's just a one-stop shop where you can hear a lot of great Barbados artists. Great promotional tool. Do you intend to have um, a piece on sale at some time? Um, that would be in the future, and I think when the girls have more original songs rather than having to pay licensing fees and stuff for someone else's song. So the ultimate goal of Honey Jam is? The ultimate goal, I would say, is to train and develop female artists in Barbados for the world. So we want them to take this experience as a jumping off point, as a stepping stone, to then get them to the next level. So maximize on the opportunity. So they're getting great vocal performance training. They're getting to learn about the nuts and bolts of the industry. They get awesome uh, media opportunities. So training to get interviews, get on TV, get some live performances under your belt, get some great performance shots, get something on YouTube, and then just move with it, move forward. Excellent. Now, Hunter Jump, of course, started in Canada, mm -hmm. in Toronto. Can we see us sometime in the future, hopefully in Barbados, um, a collaboration or a joint concept between Honey Jam um, sorority in Toronto, Canada, and the one down here in Barbados? That's something that I would love to do. And as a matter of fact, we're going to have a Canadian artist from Honey Jam Canada performing at Honey Jam Barbados this year. It's a prize that she won, sponsored by the BTA. Her name is Melissa Bell, so she's going to be coming and doing that. I would love to have a collaboration. That would be a great goal to somehow have the two work together in some way. Fantastic. Now, um, what I want you to do now is just invite everybody to come on down to our show. Come on down to your show and um, let people know what, can, what they can expect. Everyone out there in TV land, please come out to Honey Jam Barbados on Saturday, November the 17th at the Plantation Garden Theater. All of the info is on our website, honeyjambarbados.com. You're going to see awesome live performances in so many different genres, hip-hop, jazz, gospel, R&B, soul, pop, uh, folk, all different styles of music. Some reggae too, a little bit of soca. It's going to be a great night. And uh, looking forward to seeing you there. Excellent. Thank you. And my legs are all good now. Jeez! Well, listen, ladies and oh gentlemen, the mosquitoes in the south side are running Ebony out of town, but she is here to stay.
Honey Jam is here in Barbados to stay. We're very thankful for everybody joining us, and we look forward to the 17th of November. Don't miss it. See the Plantation Garden Theater. See you there. Thank <laughs> you.